So you want to go out on an overnight nature trip. You're going to need a set of binoculars and a magnified night vision device. But that means having to buy and carry two separate devices with you. Now what if I told you there's a unit out there that makes purchasing two separate devices completely unnecessary? Let's unbox the unit. So I pretty much got this brand new for 780 CNY. It came in this nice black bag. So let's get it out. The main unit sealed in a plastic bag with its manual. Nice. Now let's get the accessories out. Alright, now let's run through the unboxing inventory. So first we have the main unit itself along with its manual. Then we have this monocular eyepiece. Then we have an M42 lens mount adapter that allows you to use this night vision device as a camera lens. This is a daytime adapter that allows you to turn your night vision device into a daytime optic. You got the eye cup for the biocular assembly. An M42 to Pentax K mount adapter ring. And finally an adapter ring that I have no idea what it's for. Also, no idea what this is. And this is what they all look like with the packaging removed. Alright, now let's talk about the controls on this unit. So, first of all, you have the power switch at the back. To focus the objective lens, you simply just turn it. Now the diopter adjustment is a little wonky. You focus the biocular eyepiece assembly by screwing it in or out of the main night vision unit housing. The eyepiece assembly is attached to the main housing via a connector ring, and it is this ring that you turn to adjust the diopter. The eyepiece itself rotates freely relative to the ring, so you can always reset the eyepiece to be level with the unit after you finish adjusting the diopter. Just be careful when adjusting the adapter not to unscrew it by too much, otherwise the eyepiece may just drop off. And this knob adjusts the interpupillary distance, aka how far your eyes are apart. And you can see the distance between the two eyepieces here changing as I adjust the knob. You also have the battery compartment here. This unit takes four AA batteries. And lastly, you have a tripod mounting point on the objective lens that you can change the orientation of. Now let's talk about how you can convert your Cyclops 3B into a daytime scope. You'll need this daytime optic adapter, and to perform the conversion, simply unscrew the objective lens from the main night vision housing, do the same with your eyepiece assembly, And then screw the two into the daytime optic adapter. And that's it.
to get a clear and sharp image through the converted daytime optics, simply focus the objective lens. Let's talk about how to convert it into a camera lens. You'll need this camera adapter and the monocular eyepiece. The camera adapter assembly uses the monocular eyepiece to focus the intensified image onto the camera sensor. So before we do anything else, we'll need to install the eyepiece into the camera adapter. To do that, unscrew the housing side ring of the camera adapter. This will allow you to disassemble the adapter, after which you'll need to screw the monocular eyepiece lens into the inside thread of the camera mount side of the adapter. Afterwards, reassemble the adapter around the eyepiece lens. Next, it's time to attach the adapter to the camera. Or if you don't have an M42 mount camera, you may need to first attach an adapter that will allow you to adapt the M42 mount to a lens mount of your choice. Now attach the camera adapter assembly to the camera itself. And to finish off, mount the whole assembly to the output end of the night vision device. Now you may have noticed that there are access holes in the camera adapter. These allow you to access the monocular eyepiece inside the camera adapter. So you can properly focus the intensified image of the night vision unit onto the camera sensor of your camera to attain the sharpest image possible. However, I found out that this setup severely distorts the edge of the image when mounted to a Sony E-mount full-frame camera. So yeah, I simply don't see a point in adapting this night vision unit to a camera using this setup because simply looking through the eyepiece with a phone camera can yield better results than this. Now let's talk about the most remarkable features of this unit and number one will be that it uses an M42 lens mount for its objective lens. This means you can pretty much put any M42 film camera lens onto the unit and use it as your objective lens. And the same also applies to the daytime optic mode of this unit. You can now use any M42 film camera lens as the objective for your daytime scope. Now having an M42 lens mount is cool and all, but perhaps the most remarkable thing about this unit is the two-stage Gen Zero cascade tube that it uses. Notice the bluish tinted photocathode and how long the tube itself is compared to something like a cheapo nasty Civi grade Gen 1 single stage tube that you'd find in a cheapo nasty unit like this Russian TZS2 over here. These cheapo nasty CV gray single stage Gen 1 tubes typically have an orange tinted photocathode and are a lot shorter. These are the types of tubes you find in most Civi Grey Gen 1 devices such as Pulsars and Yukons. So what is a cascade tube? Well, you know how night vision intensifier tubes convert ambient light into electron signals, intensify those electron signals, then turn them back into light, right? Well, what if you put two of those tubes end to end? You'd get two times the performance, right? Now, that sounds like troll science shitposting, but that's exactly what they did. This is the U31B. It is the most common Soviet or Russian two-stage cascade tube out there. It is very likely the tube that's used in the Cyclops 3B, as well as in numerous Soviet armored vehicle night optics, like this TKN3 Commander's Viewer, which Tankograd describes as also having a two-stage Gen Zero intensifier. So, how well does it perform in the dark? 
To test that, we've come back to the good old storeroom where the only ambient light is coming in from a small gap under the storeroom door. My lux meter, which can read 0.01 lux, reads absolutely zero here. So the area is directly illuminated by the stray light coming in from under the door is probably around half moonlight levels, think NL2. And the areas in the shade are probably very close to the starlight levels, think NL3 to NL4. And let's start the benchmark by seeing how the common crappy Gen 1 devices will fare in these conditions. And this is the TZS2 that I showed you earlier. You can see that it's actually struggling a bit here. And if we pan it into the shadows, it just completely breaks down. Which, I mean, is expected for a cheap single stage Gen 1. Next up, we have the Type 85, which uses a really good Gen 1 Plus tube. This is one of the very last Gen 1 devices before everything became Gen 2 and 3. And unlike the nasty Gen 1 tube we saw earlier, this one can actually see into the shadows. And now finally, we have the Cyclop 3. The two-stage cascade tube actually fares pretty well here. And it doesn't break down when we actually pan it into the shadows. But of course, it still doesn't hold a candle to Gen 2 and Gen 3. This one in particular is a PVS-14 with a Gen 3 ThinFilm Omni 8 tube installed. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.